This year is the 75th anniversary of the Purple Heart, the medal awarded to U.S. servicemen and women who are wounded or killed in combat. Recently, we went to visit a man who's created the most unusual of tributes. Van Gogh had a brush, Rodin a chisel, Roger Baker runs a lawnmower. We think of artists with a paintbrush or a chisel. Right. And you use? We're using lawnmowers, tractors, brush hogs, anything we can find. <laughs> His canvas, a field of clover, an hour north of New York City. So this is how you sketch it out? Yes, this is my working drawing. Yeah. This is about 260 feet tall, George yeah. Washington's portrait, okay. and about 175 wide. To lay out the image, um, I stretch a lot of strings, I pace it off. Mm. This is like being a, a, a small insect on a large canvas. You, you get off the ground a couple thousand feet and you can actually tell what it is. Yeah. What's hard to see from the ground is clear from the air. Roger's 850,000 square foot image of the Purple Heart. He started with the Statue of Liberty, cut into his upstate New York hang gliding landing field. Then came field portraits of Elvis Presley, Albert Einstein, and motorcycle legend Indian Larry. I paint a lot of motorcycles. I've done a whole lot of different things. Uh, I, I, I taught myself how to sign right and do these things. It's a, basically a clover field, yeah. right? For yeah. those who can't see it from the air, the experience of walking in a field the golden swirl of dying grass cut low to the ground, or a greedy bumblebee's hunt for pollen are equally important in Roger's art. In a week or two, you won't be able to know. Oh, it's, it's very time sensitive. And if, when, if you, you, you just leave it alone and it grows away, and it just sort of fades off, which is kind of nice for a piece like this. Roger drew his inspiration from World War II vet Art Livesey, who received a Purple Heart at Iwo Jima. When I got it, I really never wore it. Right. I sent it home to my mother. Mm -hmm. Roger used Art's medal as a model. You get her up there all right? Oh, yeah. Now watch your head. Terrific. It's hard to explain. I just wanted to pay homage to those who have, who have served so that we can stand here today. Because they spilled their blood. That's absolutely right. People sh should always remember yeah. the Purple Heart yeah. and for what it means. Really great. It doesn't matter what I do. I always treat every job as if it's the last time I get a chance to do it. A fragile tribute carved into a field's grasses and flowers meant to live for as long as it can last. That's something. The clover field where Roger Baker mowed his purple heart is growing over fast, and you only have a week or so to see it in person. It's at the Thomas Bull Memorial Park in Orange County, New York. If you want some more information, including directions, just go to our website at cbsnews.com. How beautiful. Is it stunning? It, it's stunning. How long did it take him to make the purple heart? More than a week. More than a week of all this cutting, and they used big mowers and everything else. The thing that's really interesting about it it stands on its own if you walk through it and you can kind of stand in the middle of George Washington's nose. It's impressionistic, you know, when you're, when you're standing in the middle of it, but it's so representational up in the air. So it really is. Really That's powerful amazing. stuff. Mm.